Hi guys, welcome back to another Calcfly videos. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the question 1 in 2019 AP Calculus Free Response portion. So basically, this question 1 is mainly a rating and rate out problem. So, let's get started. Alright, in this first problem, we're given a rating function for the number of fish entering a lake. We're given also rate out function for the number of fish leaving the lake at any time t. In part A, it says how many fish enter the lake over the 5 hour period from midnight, which is t equals 0, until 5 pm, which is t equals 5. So give your answer to the nearest whole number. In this case, we're going to calculate the number of number of fish entering the lake, which means this is accumulation. So if this is accumulation, we need to set up this definite integral from 0 to 5, and also we need to use because it says fish enter the lake so basically we're going to be use our rate in function so if i use my rate in function e of t dt and if we evaluate this definite integral using our calculation calculator because this is calculator permanent problem so the first two problems in 2019 free response questions are calculator permitted so if we calculate our if we calculate this definite integral using our calculator, we're going to end up with this answer, 159.458. But it says, give your answer to the, to the nearest whole number. So basically, my answer for part A is number of fish entering the lake, entering the lake, uh, from midnight, from t equals 0 to t equals 5 is 153. Okay, so we are done with part A. So let's move on to part B. In part B, it says, what is the average number of fish that leave the lake? So it says that leave the lake, which means we're going to be prompted to use our rate out uh, function. So if we use our rate out function, and also it says, leave the lake per hour over the five hour period which means from one over five minus zero times from zero to five our rate out function which is l of t d t again one fifth times from zero to five l of t d t it's going to be equal to if we use our calculator six point zero five nine so as a result my reasoning the reason I need to write down is, I'm going to write it here, for part B is, the average, the average number of fish leaving the lake, leaving the lake, over this time period from 0 to 5 is 6.059. So we, you need to write out this reasoning to get a full credit. Alright, so, so far we did part A and part B. So let's move on to part C and D. So specifically part C, it says at what time t, so this is my uh, time interval from 0 to 8, is the greatest number? Oh, so this is mainly about the maximum. So this is a maximum problem. Okay, so what do we do for, well, what do we do when we come across a maximum or minimum problem? We use first derivative. But we already know that this rate out and rate in rate in functions are my are actually rate of change. So basically, they're first derivative. So in order to figure out the critical values, we need to set this expression e of t minus l of t equal to zero because this expression is going to give me number of fish in the lake at any time. Okay, so when I set this expression e equal to zero, what are we going to get is from this equation t equals 6.204. So after we get our critical value, we need to test this critical value because we need to track the um, you know the change like from increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing to be able to say that um this value is a maximum value to be able to say that at this 
time the maximum value will occur or the minimum value will occur. Okay. All right. So if we do our sign chart from zero to eight and in between, we're going to have 6.204. Okay. Then. So for these two time intervals, we need to select value. So for this time interval, I'm going to select the value six. And for this time interval, I'm going to select the value seven. So basically we need to test these values in this. Okay. E of T minus L of T. So let's do it. E of E of six minus L of six. If we use our calculator, this result is going to be a positive number bigger than zero. So basically this is going to be positive. And if we substitute seven into this function, so we get E of seven minus L of seven. Again, if we evaluate this expression using our calculator, we're going to end up with a number that is less than zero, which is negative. So notice that at this time, 6.204, it's changing from positive to negative or inc from increasing to decreasing. So that's why the maximum value, maximum value will occur at t equals 6.0 sorry t equals 6.204 okay all right this is part c so let's move on to part d in part d it says is the rate of change in the number of fish in the lake increasing or decreasing increasing or decreasing at 5 a.m which which means t equals 5 so to be able to do this problem, I need to clean up the board first. So when I clean up the board, and if we focus on part D, we get D equals. All right, so to be able to determine that, we need to focus on the first derivative of, first derivative of E of T minus L of T. So we need to focus on the first derivative, which is D of DT of this expression. and. And also, we're going to evaluate this expression at t equals 5. So basically, this is going to be equal to e prime 5 minus l prime 5. Again, this is calculator permitted problem. If we make good use of our calculator and if we evaluate this expression, we're going to end up with a number that is negative 10.729. That is less than zero which is negative number since we end up because because e prime 5 minus l prime 5 is less than zero the rate of change so the rate of change the rate of change in the number of in the number of fish is decreasing at this time is decreasing at t equals 5. All right. All right, guys. So far, we've focused on the question 1 from 2019 for your response portion. And then we did this four uh, questions. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Have a good day. Bye-bye.